Anything? That's insane. I blinked and you built an app. So I wanted to do a, do a five minute timer. I'm gonna build this from scratch for you guys. Okay, it's starting, crap, okay. We're gonna start with a spreadsheet. I know there's a lot of you that are making spreadsheet or making projects for clients. So I thought it would be fun to start off with a kind of like a client management app. So we'll call this client. And then let's say we have their, that'd be like their name. This would be like the status of their project. And then maybe we want to know like the deliverable. So you can have a link to their project. So I'm going to add in some dummy data here. We'll say Adam, Darren, Brad, open, in progress. So this is the status of each of these projects and complete. And then the deliverable for this one is going to be the link that I want you all to go look at, <laughs> which is mine and Brad's partnership page on my website. So really simple. We're just tracking who our clients are and what status their projects are in. How do we make this into an app? So this is a demo for CXC. So I use a platform called Glide. And Glide lets you build apps from spreadsheets that are web apps. So they exist on the web. They don't require the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. So I'm going to log in here and build an app off of this simple spreadsheet that I just created. So all I'm going to do is press new project. Let's call it demo. I'm going to build an app. And then my data source is going to be Google Sheets. And then here's my demo for CXC. So I choose that spreadsheet. And then this no code platform is going to look at my data and build like a little template app based off my data. So you can see here, it's added one tab with a list in it of my clients. So let me go ahead and rename this tab to be clients. And then I'll update this list view to add a little image here for their name. And then I can click in there and it's already given me like a template of their data there. So we have their name and then I wanted to have a link to their deliverable, but right now there's nothing in there. So let me add in right here. So here's a link to their deliverable. And then it's also given me an edit page where I can update their client name, their status and the, their deliverable. And then it's also out of the box giving me a way to add. So let me go ahead and add a new client. So we'll add in Harold here and say his project is open and deliverable hasn't been added yet. So I'll add that. So now we have four people in there. And then behind the scenes, he's been added to our data set here. And so now we have a functioning app where we can add clients and edit them. And then the last thing to do is to publish this. And so I can publish this app. and copy this URL and it's made this app available on the web. And I can sign in with my email address or I can just for demo sake, let me turn off the privacy for this app and I can update like the icon and change to my company branding. And then I'll refresh this. And it should have all those changes reflected. And so there we go. Now we can view these projects and add new ones. And so it's really simple to balance three clients in your head. But if you were to have 50 clients that were all in different statuses, it's nice to have them all in an app. And you can customize this to be specific to your business. So how do we do? So less than five minutes, we have a sim simple app created with Glide, which is what I use. So I'll pause right there for, <laughs> for thoughts. Anything? That's insane. I blinked and you built an app. I literally took my camera off for a second and was gone for 15 seconds and came back. And it's like I missed the whole part where you built an app.